Hey everyone, I'm Jack7, I'm a professional extreme unicyclist, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 hardest unicycling tricks that I can do. And you're definitely going to see some real bangers today. So, let's hop right into this video. Now just to preface, to qualify for this list, the trick has to be a trick that I've done at least twice. We're not counting these one off, I got super super lucky kind of tricks. These are hard tricks for all unicyclists but these are also just personally hard tricks for me so starting off with the easiest hardest trick on this list <laughs> is the sedge double flip aka the sean erickson johannesson double flip <laughs> this trick consists of a 720 uni spin combined with a double crank flip now I've only landed this trick several times I landed it back in 2015 but every time I go for it it is just it just takes a lot out of me but it's not for the reasons that you're probably thinking now yes this trick is very technically hard and it has a little bit of explosive energy to it but the main thing that I find troubling with this trick is the mental game I have to play every time I go to do this <laughs> I find this really hard to commit to because of this like technical hand passing motion and on top of that with the 720 spin and the cranks just flipping twice like that it just feels like you're sort of throwing your feet into a blender and hoping for the best. I've only seen about four or five other people land this trick but for me it is definitely just a mentally taxing trick. For the fourth trick on this list you guys are actually going to be pretty surprised with this one and even if you're a non-unicyclist, I'm about to tell you why this is a surprisingly hard one for me to do. And the number four trick on this list is the X up under flip. So this trick is where you do a 180 uni spin, and then you kick the cranks to do a backwards rotation, and then after you kick the cranks to do that backwards rotation, you're 180 uni spinning it in the opposite direction. Now I've landed this trick on actually quite a few occasions, but I've only landed it for the sole reason that it has been set in a game of out or a game of oath which is basically like playing a game of skate in unicycling for some people this trick actually comes pretty easy to them or it looks like they can do it very naturally this trick just feels really unnatural for me and i'm not 100 percent sure why i i guess i'm just built different <laughs> my body doesn't like to move in that way so for some reason i always get super frustrated with this trick and it always gives me trouble despite it not being the hardest of hard tricks it's one of those tricks that you would expect me to be a little bit better at but this one really frustrates me and now for the third trick on this list we got the fifth secret side double flip now this trick is a 540 uni spin that wraps underneath or around your legs combined with a double flip. Well, this video was the first time that I had retried this trick in like three years, so I was really hoping that I wouldn't eat it or bail super hard. I did have some pretty good bails, but luckily I was able to land it for the sake of this video. This trick is kind of hard because like you're controlling the spin while throwing it around both of your legs, so it's really hard to kind of control and know where your hands are going to be, where you're going to pass it, and sometimes your legs kind of get confused on uh, where they're going to wrap and how they're going to wrap which makes this trick kind of like an awkward feeling trick but it's super rewarding because it also feels really damn cool when you do do it <laughs> do do man guys i'm out here trying to land my hardest tricks that i've ever done over my 12 years of unicycling for you guys today on video so i would really appreciate if you guys could show some love and support and just like this video if you haven't already subscribed like the 60 percent of you that aren't subscribed please consider subscribing so you can get weekly content like this every single week. And now for my second hardest trick, we got the full out middle flip. Now I've only landed this trick maybe about two or three times in the last year. So this trick is a 360 uni spin, but in the middle of that 360, you're kicking the cranks or doing an over flip to rotate the wheel one full revolution, and then you're turning it the rest of the way. So you're basically doing a 180, kicking the cranks and then 180ing it back in. Now the physics of this trick make it really painful for the shins and it results in a lot of bails. So it kind of sucks for that. And as you can see, I was getting really frustrated with all of these attempts. I was probably at it for about two hours and I still wasn't getting it. I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. And sadly, I wasn't able to get it for this video. In the meanwhile, here's a clip of me landing it. I hate this trick. <laughs> and now for the hardest and most explosive tricks as of today in 2021, 
we have the fifth quad. This trick is a lot of flip and a lot of spin. You're doing a 540 uni spin combined with four revolutions of the wheel. I landed this trick twice at the North American Unicycling Championships in 2019 for the first time ever. Prior to this, I was practicing the fifth triple since 2014. So it took a lot of time and a lot of getting consistent with fifth triples before I even felt somewhat confident to go for the fifth quad. And even then, it was just a really hard trick to learn. And this trick kind of sucks too for going for attempts because it has an expiry to it. It just takes so much energy to pull it off, at least for me, that I end up getting tired really quick. So you can only go for it a handful of times. It's not the kind of trick you can grind out until you eventually get lucky and land it. You only have a set number of tries, which really sucks for this video because I sadly was not able to get this one for the deadline of this video. It was just really tiring. But here is a clip of me landing it at the North American Championships. It was a pretty cool moment. <laughs> Guys, I want to know, like, what is your hardest trick that you've ever done? Whether you're doing BMX, skateboarding, scootering, unicycling, inline blades. I want to know. I really like listening to these stories because I just emphasize with that kind of hustle. It's just so rewarding landing these sort of things. So I want to hear down in the comments. I'm looking forward to seeing your guys' responses. And that, everyone, is the top five hardest unicycling tricks for me right now, today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in next week's video. Peace.